Hi, my name is Stephen King. In this series of videos, we're going to cover off the three basics in using a wood burning stove. One is how to light the stove. Two is how to clean the stove when you've used it for some time. And three is the selection of timber for lighting the stove and burning in the stove. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to light a wood burning stove. It's not particularly difficult, but there are a couple of important things to remember before you set off. First of all, make sure that if you have been using the stove and you've shut it down the night before, that you open up the air vents. Different stoves will have different types of air vents. This particular one has got two sliders at the bottom, which you pull out. It, that is very important because if you don't do that, as soon as you, light the, as soon as you close the door, the stove will go out. So, the first thing to add is paper. Normal newspaper is quite adequate. What you don't want to do is scrunch it up too much. So I'll open the door. Start putting the paper in. I'm not scrunching it down too much. I'm just like fairly loosely scrunching it up. This is good prepared area and a good blue pizza tradition. Once you've got the wood in, the next thing to do is put kindling in. I've got this already stacked beside the fire here for the purposes of this demonstration. You don't need to do this. Now there are two there are two ways to do the kindling. One is you can buy pre-prepared kindling which is cut to size or the other thing you can do is just get a nice dry log split it up with an axe. That seems to work just as good. So we'll put the kindling in. Making sure that it's going to have plenty of air gaps in it to allow the air to pass through and ignite the wood. You don't need too much, you just need enough to start the fire going. Once you have the wood in place and the paper underneath it, the next thing to do is to set fire to it. If you then close the door very slightly, you can find a bit of a gap and a bit of a draft through. That seems to be lighting quite nicely. We'll just see how it goes for a minute. With the chili penguin you have a, a gizmo here which is like a allows extra air to pass through. I sometimes do that. I open it which allows more air to pass into the system, particularly when it's lighting. That seems to be going quite well now. With the logs as opposed to the kindling that you buy. The logs will um, take a little bit longer to light and it won't go up in quite as dramatic a way. If I was to use kindling on this, and I'll probably uh, video an example using kindling, you'll see it lights much quicker. But that is lighting now, so that's, uh, that's going pretty well. So that's cool. Close my eye. What I'll do is I'll just stop the video when it's lit, uh, when it lights up a bit more, I will restart again. 
Your, your stove's going to need its glass cleaning probably at least once every few days or once a week, depending on how much you want to look at the fire. The reason for the glass getting dirty or blackening is because you've either used damp wood or wood which is a bit resiny, or you've turned it down too much. Now the quickest way of doing this is first of all I will cover the half with a piece of paper to stop all the rubbish dropping off onto the nice lightly covered half. I've used a damp piece of jace cloth and what I will do is I will just use the ash from inside the stove to rub the discoloration off. It doesn't take that long, it doesn't need to be very damp, just, just a fraction damp. If it's too damp it'll start dripping off. So you use the ash, work it in, You can see me working it here, it's very, it acts like a mild abrasive. So you just work it off, and also I guess the, um, whatever's in, on the glass, will be acting like a solvent for the grease which is appearing on the glass. So work it well up into the corners. I usually start the corners because that seems to be the most the most difficult stuff to get rid of. So that's the um, run over with a damp sponge. And then dry it off with a bit of kitchen towel. Okay, that's only taken less than five minutes and your fire is back ready to be lit and so you can have a nice view of the flames when it starts up. So that's very easy again. So just to recap, a damp piece of jace cloth, use the ash as the abrasive, wipe it over with a sponge and then dry it off with a bit of kitchen towel. Takes in total about five minutes.